the Haydn Voyages project we're about to embark on is really exciting for all of us for a number of reasons. I mean, I think we all, all four of us share a, a love, uh, you know, you could call it nerdy or geeky or I don't know, just genuine love of Haydn and his quartets and his place as the, the sort of father of what we do, of the modern string quartet as we know it. Haydn wrote 68 quartets and really every composer after Haydn, um, I guess I could be so bold as, as to say, lived in the shadow of Haydn, especially when it came to string quartet writing. I love Haydn and could play Haydn quartets for the rest of my life and be happy with just playing Haydn. We'd been talking about wanting to play the Haydn cycle um, for a while and this opportunity came about to make it happen. It's just incredibly out there for the time period music and so we've actually paired it with music that's written today and um, so we hope to show kind of the wilder side of Haydn in this concert series and we have an incredible uh, musicologist Derek Katz uh, who will be coming to kind of walk the audience through the whole process of exploring these 68 quartets. setting is really unique, I think, in San Diego for sure. It's this old historic ferry boat with a, a lot of sort of warm wood surroundings and I think people can be reassured on the ferry, on the Berkeley, it basically feels like you're sitting in a room. It's not too, too wobbly. <laughs> I guess my hope is that instead of seeing Haydn as just uh, something that you start a concert with, something like a amuse-bouche, as we say, you know, it's the main focus, and hopefully people could see the greatness in Haydn and what he did for the string quartet genre, because uh, without him, we wouldn't have any jobs, really. Mm -hmm. 